What is up, people? When you hear about PvP in Ashes of Creation, you hear a lot about Node and Castle Sieges, a bit about the corruption system, and some about arenas. But what you don't hear a lot about is Guild Wars. Guild Wars will be a big part in Ashes of Creation, and the wars surrounding these guilds could potentially be even bigger. So how exactly is the idea of Guild Wars being handled? Well, before we get into this, you all know it's coming by now, and if you don't, well, you probably are one of the 80.1% of people watching this video who are not subscribed to the channel. So why are you watching this if you don't want to learn more about Ashes of Creation? And if you want to learn more about Ashes of Creation, why aren't you subscribed? <laughs> All great questions that can be answered just by clicking that subscribe button. Anyways, in Ashes of Creation, Guild Wars isn't something that is just made up between two guilds. There are actual systems in place that will allow you to go to war with one another if war is declared. Keep in mind that everything is still in development, so we don't know the exact way that these will play out, but this system will work in a similar fashion to a siege, where you have a declaration period, and during this time you have declared war, and you'll be able to set out to prepare before the war actually begins. Once your guild is officially at war with one another, there will be various objectives that will spawn during server prime time. This will be more than likely surrounding your guild hall or fortress. Guild fortresses are still something that are to be determined for Ashes of Creation. They are meant to be siegeable guild halls placed on a guild freehold, but it is unknown if they will make the final cut for the retail version of the game. Guild halls, on the other hand, will be a focal point for your guild. These halls can be placed on guild freeholds. These are gained through leveling the guild, and when a guild hits a certain level, the guild master will be granted a certificate which will enable the placement of a guild hall. There are also guild halls within nodes available to patron guilds of the node, and they will have a little bit different of benefits compared to a guild hall on a freehold, but what those benefits are we really don't know yet. Not only are guild halls an objective in wars like we just mentioned, but they are a place for your guild to gather, giving unique perks to the guild hall and perhaps allowing for guild accomplishments to be held on display in this hall as well. Again, the details on what these perks are exactly are still being worked out and haven't really been revealed by Intrepid. The objectives of the guild war will take you to an enemy guild hall at times, and could be something like stealing a quest item from a guild that they may have received from completing a raid, or even having a bounty on a certain guild member that your guild would need to take out, but the target may have increased damage mitigation or health to players partaking in this war. During the time of war, like all PvP objective based gameplay, players will be able to kill any other player within the guild wars at any time of day without falling victim to the PvP corruption system, meaning you can kill as many members of the opposing guild as you wish without having to risk corruption penalties such as gear drops and increased XP debt. One of the coolest things about Guild Wars is the fact that you can create guild alliances, ultimately bringing in more than just two guilds into the war, so if you're a guild master you may want to set out to make some allies. I'm sure that Guild Wars is probably going to be one of those features though that will be more in the background that you really don't notice is happening, as it's more focal between the two communities compared to the ever-changing world of Vera but it still gives players yet another activity to partake in, along with allowing larger guilds in Vera to have their fun with each other in a smaller scale conflict compared to castle sieges. This system is being built around supporting your guild and its members, really bringing the players together to protect whatever that target may be from the other guild, and allowing for guild politics to be played out in a whole new way not seen in many MMORPGs. What are your thoughts on Guild Wars in Ashes of Creation? Drop a comment down below, and if you are new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to do so using the referral link in the description below, where you can jump in on the forums, purchase some cool cosmetics, or just get yourself ready to jump into the world of Vera. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.